Sometimes using the correct color lure makes all the difference when bass fishing. Check this out. Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Mike Rogers, the Outdoors Vlog, here again. I'm out to try and catch me some fish. I'm going for bass. I'm fishing with the flute on the on the old uh, Lou's American Hero. You stick with me. I'm not gonna make this intro long because I'm trying to get better about that. Stay tuned. Making the first cast here. I had one on there. Played around about it. There was one hanging on to it and I played around about it. it wasn't hanging on very hard. Very determinedly. Had a little bass chase it out. It was catchable, not big, but definitely catchable. There's another one sitting right underneath the end of that lay down. That lay down right there, there's one laying right underneath of it. I can see it. It's not big. But I'd be, I'd be proud enough to catch it anyway. Ooh, there was a little bite, a little something. Probably rock bass or bluegill or something. Every now and then a bubblegum tank will actually do the trick in this water, but generally natural colors is what we want to do right here. Not even an inkling, whatever that is. I have a doubt about that. You gotta watch out for them there snakes. Yeah, glimmer blue. Get them right there. And that's what she looks like right there. Uh, I got one on there. I think I connected that time, maybe. It's a decent smallmouth. Oh. <laughs> nice when they swim right at you, ain't it? That's probably what the one I had on a while ago just didn't punch it hard enough. Get off there. Here we go. Right there in the lip. Not a bad looking little smolly. Right there. I like it. Let's let him go. There it go. Finally, all right. Well, so I connected after the lure change. I fished that same area out quite a bit, just from a slightly different angle with the baby bass and this glimmer blue change. Definitely started getting bit more. To me, this rig that I've got here, this 6.6 medium fast taper, rod with this lose it's a lose combo it's the american hero combo and uh and then the eight pound trialing smooth casting i mean it's just the perfect combination for fishing these weightless texas rigs and getting them a good distance with precision now i'm not the best combination with this to get the precision all the time but I still do pretty decent with it, I figure. 
Well, folks, as you've seen, just real quick, I uh, was able to get one small mouth, just a quick change, and stay tuned.